Unfortunately, Team USA did not medal in the 2024 World Championships. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. And thank you. Um, it's humbling. We just had a big milestone with the channel where we hit 5 million overall views, which is unbelievable. So I just have to say thank you to everybody, the new subscribers, the new members, the, the people who comment and are interactive on the channel all the time. I really do appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate it. I can't, I can't even state it enough. It's overwhelming and it's humbling. And I, res I respect everyone's views, even if it's against what I think. I really do appreciate learning from you and humbled by this whole experience. So thank you. But if you're not a member or a subscriber, more importantly, you should be a subscriber. Click that like and subscribe button and welcome to the team. This morning, the 2024 Bass World Championships ended and Team USA did not medal. Now, we have been a three-time champion, back to back to back world champion. And I don't believe that this tournament gets as much praise or acknowledgement that it probably should get. I think this is a good opportunity for us to show our domination in the hobby of professional bass fishing. However, we didn't do it this year. Now, Scott Martin is usually the captain. He had to go back home after the first day because there was some family emergency or family issues that had come up. So they had to replace Scott with the cameraman he brought over to film the whole thing. Obviously the cameraman is a pretty decent fisherman, or de decent angler, because he got to fish with Jacob Wheeler. And Jacob Wheeler and Nicholas, who's his first name, ended up being the best team for Team USA this year. Now this is the 18th World Championships. It was on Lake Bull Siena, probably mispronounced that, in Italy. And Spain captured the gold medal while Italy claimed silver and Australia got the bronze and Team USA finished fourth. As I said, Wheeler and his partner, the cameraman, Nicholas, were the best team for Team USA. They ended up finishing eighth overall. Joey Suventes and Fred Rubanis finished in 13th. Scott Canterbury and Dustin Cannell finished in 16th. And Joey and Fred had the top single day performance on, I think it was day one. Now the, now the 2025 Bass World Championships heads to Arkansas and Hot Springs next year, which puts us in a little bit better area and probably better fishing for us. But it's kind of disappointing to finish fourth, but it also shows that there are quality anglers throughout the country that can just beat our ass anytime they want. And I know going to Italy and having the whole time change and all the other stuff probably had some sort of effect on the anglers and not knowing the area as well as we as we do probably had a big effect too but when you put Scott Martin and Dustin Cannell and Fred Rubanis and Scott Canterbury and Jacob Wheeler man you got to think we have a really good shot at winning and as disappointing as it was for those anglers to not finish first it probably was a little bit of shock to the system for those guys too those guys are some of the best anglers in the world, and not finishing first was probably very disappointing. But this was one I didn't think could happen. But what do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers, and thank you.